So this is a review of the Everlast Powercore freestanding heavy bag. So I recently acquired this uh, punch bag from Costco. It cost me 120 pounds. Um, the kit actually comes with some MMA style gloves, an ab wheel and a skipping rope. So all in all, I thought it was good value for money. Um, in London, we're in another lockdown due to COVID-19. So I thought I would purchase something that I could place in my house and continue training with while the gyms are closed. So just by looking at the, the style of this bag, you can tell that the base is quite large in comparison to some of the other freestanding bags on the market. So it's a hollow base which you can fill with either sand or water. Um, so with water, it's about 250 pounds of weight uh, and with sand, it's about 370 pounds of weight. I've opted to go for um, filling with water as it's easily accessible for me rather than uh, acquiring bags of sand. Here you have the Everlast uh, MMA style gloves. You've got the ab wheel as well, which needs to be assembled. And then you've also got the skipping rope that comes as part of this kit too. So here you've also got the, um, the other parts of the kit. So you've got the fixtures and fittings held within here. Um, you've got some foam, you've got the lid, you've got the large base that could be filled with water or sand, uh, as you can see here. And you also got the actual punch bag itself. So before you fill this base with either water or sand, I'd recommend that you keep it in the position that it's going to stay permanently. Obviously, after filling the base with either water or sand, it's got, gonna be quite heavy in weight, so it will be a bit of a pain to keep moving it around. So I'd recommend choosing the location where you wanna keep it, then filling the base up with either water or sand to keep it easy and convenient for yourself. So as the base was filling up with water, I decided to unpackage the ab wheel and assemble it. So it's really straightforward. It comes in four parts. You just put the axle through the middle um, and then put the other handle on the other end. Really straightforward. Um, feels like really good quality parts. Uh, really happy with this. I mean, generally speaking, an ab wheel costs at least 10 pounds. So having this as part of the kit is quite, quite useful, quite handy. So looking forward to using that as well. The skipping rope as well comes part of the kit, as I mentioned before. So it's quite lightweight. It is a speed rope, it's plastic looking forward to using this so generally a skipping rope costs probably at least 10 pounds as well so it's really useful to have that as part of the kit too Placing the foam inside the actual punch bag itself was quite tricky as it's quite tight. But once it goes in, it's really nice, really good fit. Um, feels like really good quality as well. So um, yeah, it's a bit tricky, a bit fiddly, but once you get a hang of it, it's, it's, uh, it comes out as a very good product. bag just slides over the top of the pillar um, it's also adjustable so you can adjust it to whatever height you prefer the maximum height of the bag is five foot five so all in all I think the bag is really nice to hit the post just below the bag flexes slightly upon impact so it absorbs a lot of the impact uh, which is quite good as you can see, the base does move around slightly, uh, which is a common problem with a lot of these freestanding bags. All I've had to do here is basically place a pillow just behind the bag to wedge it between the bag and the, the cupboard behind it. So overall, I think the bag isn't really designed for power punches or power striking. It's more designed for precision and accuracy and working in some of your technical skills. 
So I think all in all, in terms of the value for money, this is a brilliant product for you to have in your home and keep training. 